The Welling Galleries is excited to start the new year with a major exhibition of more than 60 works of exquisite contemporary glass art by 24 internationally recognized artists, the largest glass exhibition staged by the gallery in its 47 year history. Glass and Wonders, now on view through February 17th, features the myriad expressive possibilities of this versatile form, including significant works from the museum quality collection of Dr. Arnold and Doris Rowland, as well as many of Llewellyn's esteemed glass artists. The Rowlands began collecting glass in the early 1990s. Major art patrons, as well as part-time residents of Santa Fe, the Rowlands began acquiring works from important glass artists, schools, and studios nationally and internationally. One of the highlights of the collection on view is a rare major work by the late Czech couple Stanislav Labinsky and Jaroslava Brechtova. Working together, they transformed glass into what they called color in space. Labinsky painted and sketched the designs while Brechtova made the clay models and oversaw the casting. Glass and Wonders presents a variety of glassmaking techniques and forms. The works range from representational, figurative sculpture, to fluid design, to architectural forms. Glass is a unique medium, and that's why I think it ought to be in every art collection. Uh, glass has the ability to bend light, to make it darker and lighter, to make it brighter and duller, uh, to reflect it and to refract it. So uh, it is unique, it is special, and I think it has a particular ability to invoke the kind of emotional reaction that people look for when they create. Lachazar Boychev's cast glass sculptures evoke the central undulations of the female figure or the powerful flow of natural forces. Raquel Stolarski Asael's plate and carved glass animals have a unique luminosity that change colors depending on the angle of light reflecting through. Dutch artist Peter Brimmer's kiln cast glass is characterized by rich earth-hued tones, angular structures, and intricate cut channels. The cast glass figures of Lucy Lyon capture gestures and nuances with exceptional subtlety and strength. The process of making a glass figure begins with uh, making a clay model, uh, perfecting that, uh, having it made into a rubber mold, which gets wax put into it, uh, the wax gets finished, the, the wax is invested into uh, plaster and silica that can go into the kiln. Flower pot full of glass is put on top and you heat it up very slowly. It takes days, weeks, and you slowly the glass goes into the mold and you just wait. Once it's done, cold, you take it out and take the mold off. Then you have the glass figure and finish it. Matthew Curtis's dynamic sculptures draw upon an ongoing interest in fragments of architectural or biological forms as described through blown glass, colored oxide, and steel. John Kiley's blown, carved, and polished glass sculptures examine the relationship between interior and exterior forms and often inhabit the cusp of liminal space using color and transparency. Llewellyn Galleries continues to champion glass art in Santa Fe, highlighting its materiality, intellectual, conceptual, and expressive meanings. We hope you'll take this opportunity to experience Glass and Wonders or visit our website to view these extraordinary glass works.